Well, good morning. All right, let's start again. Good morning. Oh, terrific. It's great to see you're mildly awake. Now, the adults can look up here, but you guys just need to look here. And we're doing a third Christmas carol. Oh, come all you faithful. I've taken the ye's out and put in the u's. And I want to show you one of the most important words. Okay, are you watching? Okay, these guys are going to see it up here. I'll just put it up there for the big people. And you guys are here. All right, what's this word? Can anyone read that word? What was that, Brock? Adore? Is that what you said? That's right, adore. Everyone say adore. Everyone out there say adore. All right, adore. What does adore mean? I know there are plenty of doors in my place, and I know where a door is. There's one just over here. But what does this word mean? Adore. I'm going to show you what it means up here, okay? Here's what it means. Listen carefully. This really captures what the word means. To love, like, respect something deeply. All right, that really helps you understand it, doesn't it? Let me show you some things that a lot of people adore, okay? Here we go. I adore chocolate. That's why I run three times a week. I adore chocolate. In Australia, we adore sport, don't we? We love sport. We respect sport. We treasure it deeply. Some people look at cute little animals like rabbits and puppy dogs and go, oh, How adorable. And sometimes people look at little country towns and go, oh, what an adorable town. But I want to tell you they've all got it wrong. That's not the way to use the word, okay? Here is where we need to use the word. Who do you reckon that might be? Jesus, baby Jesus, that's right. And in today's song... We're going to be invited to come and adore this baby. Now, he's not a block of chocolate, is he? No. And I don't know whether Jesus played organised sport, but I reckon he probably didn't. And I don't think, well, I don't know if Jesus had a pet. I do know he lived in a small country town, but no one said Bethlehem was adorable. So why, why would you adore Jesus? Why would you love, respect and deeply hold on to him. Why would you do that, Sage? Because he's our king, and you'll hear that in the song today. Let me tell you another reason you would. Because he's our God. He's God for how long? Forever, that's right. Forever. He's our king and our God forever. He's better than chocolate. He's better than sport. He's better than pets. And he's getting a home better than any country town ready for us. So today in the song, I want you to listen for that word, adore. Can we say it again? One, two, three. Adore. Terrific. Let me pray and then you can get the kid sheets and then we're going to hear from another part of the Bible. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to be born, to live, to die and rise so that he is our king forever. Thank you that he is God. Help us to adore him. In Jesus' name, amen.